Hey everyone, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Taurus for March of 2019. Um, you know the deal. I'm giving away 12 free tarot card readings. So all you have to do to win one with me is to subscribe to the channel and to comment below. And if the video resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and let me know. All right. Um... Another announcement is I am starting a five-day challenge next week in my Facebook group. Uh, it, the challenge is to get over your ex in five days. So if you are stuck on somebody, even if it's not an ex, maybe it's a friend you had a falling out with, uh, whatever it is, this is going to be five days of valuable information in order to help you get over your ex. You want to sign up for it so that you get the daily emails with the videos. If you don't want to join the group, that's fine. Um, but you can sign up below in the description box or in the comments below. I'll post the link so that you can get the videos which have music to go along with it, affirmations and um, journal prompts. All right. And you get the video. All right. Uh, I'm feeling stuckness with you guys. I don't even know if that's a real word, but I just feel like you're, yeah, it, it's time to move forward. It's time to go forward, but it's going to take some work. I'm feeling, I feel like there's confusion, right? With this card, there's confusion. There's just things are, you either, I look at this card and I'm like, you either have, this is the seven of cups and it's like you either have options, excuse me, you either have options or it's very confused, right? So kind of the same. So if you have options, it's like you're confused as to which one to pick, which way to go. I do feel here in the beginning of March, you've got the Eight of Swords. Yeah, okay. So you've got the Eight of Swords, you've got the Four of Swords, you've got the Five of Pentacles, and then the Three of Pentacles. So for some of you here, I feel like you're in a very like anxiety driven state. Don't know which way to go. The confusion. This could be gaslighting they're telling me. So again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. It's a general reading. Check out your moon and rising signs to see if it resonates as well. But I feel like this could be gaslighting. Gaslighting is from a narcissistic relationship where everything is your fault. You know, um, you can't do anything right. You're, you're the one to blame and all that stuff. Uh, so for some of you, this is gaslighting from a narcissistic relationship. This could be romantic. This could be family, whatever it is. I just feel like they've got you kind of in your head. You're all up in your head and it's time to take a break of feeling left out in the cold because that's how they're making you feel. This could be a job. It's just that your head is spinning and I, I don't get like a um, racing type of spinning but every time you think of this, it's just like, well, wait a minute, what? Like, this is all my fault? Really? Wow. You know, and like you start to just think about it and be confused about it. It's not like a racing out of control type of energy. I feel as though you are just confused about it, what to do about it. And they're given the three of pentacles here. So this is about working on it. And they're telling me here to work on they're kind of saying like work on the gaslighting. So whatever's making you confused, they, they want you to see, uh, how do I say this to you guys? Um, they want you to see how unaccountable you are for it. All right. If that makes sense to you, you're not what they say you are. You're not doing what they say you do. So they're asking you in the beginning of March to really kind of look and to take a break from spinning around in circles in your mind and to really dive deep to see how unaccountable you are for what these people are saying to you, what the job. So like if you're in a job, this could be like you're not doing the work right. But you are, you're doing the best that you can do and it is right. Maybe it's not the way they want it, but it is right. It's way too many. So you've got the judgment card coming into the middle of March and you've got the five of swords here as well. So what I'm getting with that is these people or the situation, whatever is bringing you into this confused state, this state of like not knowing the gaslighting state, you know, the gaslighting, like I said, is always like, you're wrong. You did, you know, everything is your fault. Let the judgment go of this person. 
bring it back to you is what they're saying. It's not about them. It's about you and the lessons you're going to learn by dealing with this type of thing, this situation, this person. Four of Pentacles, a lack of trust. I do feel like you know what you need to do. You just don't want to do it and you've been delaying it. You kind of know what I'm telling you already, but you're delaying it. And you're keeping a lot on your plates here with the Page of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. You're balancing a lot. You're dealing with a lot of crap. Why? Why are you letting yourself offer yourself something new? Offer yourself something else. Ooh, do some of you like the chaos is what I'm getting. Some of you like it. The drama. Those are patterns and habits. Patterns and habits. The habits of the constant drama. But you've got a choice. The two of wands to me is always about picking two directions. There's two directions. Which one are you going to pick? Ah, look at this. And it's right in between this. It's right in between the chaos or the magician. The magician is the manifester. You can manifest what you want. You can manifest what you dream of. You can manifest the, the not going crazy in your head here. Or you can continue in the chaos. That's what you're confused about. Which are you going to pick? You can remain to stay in the chaos, but you've got to take your emotions and you got to take your emotions out of it. And they're saying they're draining your energy. So you've got to learn to protect your energy. So if you're in a situation where you can't leave or don't want to leave, or it's not beneficial for you to leave, no judgment here. There's no judgment. The blame on the other person has to go away. Or the blame on the other situation, the company, the boss, whatever it is for you, family members, whatever. Bring it back to you. What can you do that will help you in this situation? You want to be the magician. You want to take the magician and bring it over here if you want to stay in the chaos. If you choose to get out of the chaos, that's wonderful. That's probably your best bet. But I understand sometimes that you can't. You can't leave. And if you can't leave, then you've got to, you've got to learn how to, to control yourself and how your take in it or your part in the situation as well. You have to understand that. And you have to learn to protect your energy from somebody that's draining it, from somebody that with that five of swords stabbed you in the back or that makes you feel as though you're stabbed in the back. Okay. But you can do this. You can get out of what you're in, even if you don't technically get out. You've just got to learn how to deal with it on a different level. Look at it differently. Feel it differently. Let your guides in to help you with the situation. Trust more. Trust in yourself is what they're saying. Trust in yourself more. That you can do this. That page of swords. Stick up for yourself more. Take your power back. Alright, so we're going to get into the Reiki energy healing session here. Um, so if you haven't done it with me before, all I really do is I take intentions and I connect to the divine energy, to your energy, to really kind of push through any blocks or any energy that's trapped within your chakras. All right. I always go in with an intention. So today I'm going in with the intention of grounding yourself, really. They're telling me, like, ground yourself. To protect yourself, ground. A lot of the root chakra, the root, which is red, all right? Got a red candle. So definitely eat things red, wear things red. Just get a lot of red around you this month of March, okay? To ground yourself, to stay stable, to stay safe, stay, stay secure. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to close your eyes and you're going to listen to some music. 
Um, I have gotten the comments that people like to watch my hands when I do this. So if you like that, let me know in the comments below after the session if you liked it with your eyes closed or if you liked it with my watching my hands. I'd like to get that. Um, I'd like to know. All right, so go ahead and close your eyes if you like and take a deep breath in. And let it out. And take another deep breath in. And let that out. Whatever thoughts come in, let them come in and let them flow out. Go ahead and take a deep breath in and let it out. Take another deep breath in. Give your body a nice little stretch. 
and let it out. You're in control of your decisions. Which is it going to be? Okay, I hope that felt good to you. I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope the, re the reading resonated with you. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Um, and if you want to win the free tarot read with me, all you got to do is comment below and subscribe to the channel. And then if you're interested in doing the Get Over Your Ex Challenge with me, I would love for you to join me in the Facebook group. I go, I'm going to go live in there for five days straight. I'm also going live in there three times a week. Uh, make it happen Mondays, Tarot Tuesdays, where you learn about tarot. And then Freebie Fridays, where I give free stuff away. So join me over there. And if you don't, you can sign up for the challenge and just get the daily emails to participate with us as well. All right. Much love to you. I hope you enjoyed this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.